Authorities have canceled a flood warning for Hebron. After high water threatened the city and it began dropping Friday, the voluntary evacuation was also rescinded. Earlier, rising water threatened to overtop the dam on the Little Knife River. Officials say more than 200 homes in and around Hebron had been evacuated at one point. The oil patch is trashed. That's what North Dakota Petroleum Council concludes based on growing complaints of a growing trash problem spurred by the oil boom. In response, the council started a cleanup effort last year. More than 700 volunteers helped pick up more than 1,500 bags of trash, cleaning 30 miles of roadways in western North Dakota over the past six weeks. Another cleanup effort took place today in Watford City. And a recent Wapaton High School grad has big plans for his future. He's hoping to land the open seat on the district's school board. At just 18 years old, David Evers is fighting for a spot currently filled by people more than twice his age. After participating in student council, Evers doesn't want his school career to end with graduation. Instead, he's one of two candidates gunning for the single school board seat. He's turned down college acceptance offers from the likes of Stanford, Northwestern, and Yale. Instead, he plans to attend UND. So if he's elected, he can still serve the Wapaton community. Even if you're not going to vote for me, we have a town of about 7,000, 8,000 people. Uh, last election, there was less than 200 voters. So that's, uh, that's not very acceptable, especially considering that the leaders of tomorrow are in our schools today. Voters head to the polls to make their decision on June 4th. The Crawley blood-sucking ticks after a long winter. They're out in full force and they're quite hungry. They feast in warm, wet areas with campers as their targets. You just feel them crawling around. If you don't want them to latch on, just take them off. You've got to act quickly. Spelling some redemption. <laughs> yeah. I like that. One group is taking a good cause deep into the night tonight. The ceremony begins at 5 p.m. and goes through the night with the closing ceremony at 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. It's going to be chilly out there, folks. So if you're heading there, I would say bundle up. Probably going to dip down some 40s throughout the night. As long as it stays warm tonight for that Class B championship game, uh, I'll be happy. I'll bring those highlights to you as well. Some Class A championship uh, softball and baseball as well. Kind of nice for them to be able to get out here. Yeah, finally. exactly. Especially after yesterday. Thank you for joining us.